Okay, guys, so we're on to milestone three. Uh, first task in milestone three is asking us to do a circuit similar to the one in the last task of milestone two. Um, we're still working on oscillating motion. Um, the piston rod is creating the oscillating motion here by extending and retracting um, at a certain rate. Uh, well, the difference is that we're asked to use two magnetic reed switches and this should be able to control the length of the forward and backward strokes, unlike limit switches in the last one, um, our standard limit switches. So we're using magnetic reed switches. So can, as you can see, this is our, our circuit similar to the last time. We have S2 and S3 as our limits. And then here we have our electric circuit. OK, so we have our magnetic reed switches, S2 and S3. So let's go ahead and get started with that. So let's build our pneumatic side first. So drop in a double acting cylinder, 5 2 way solenoid valve, double solenoid, and a compressor. Go ahead and label Y1. Y2. There's our pneumatic side. We also can label inside here under the black cylinder S2, which is going to be 0, 0, and S3, which is going to be 100 and 100. You can move it out to the right <coughs> so that it makes a bit more sense where it is. Then we're going to go and we're going to work on the electrical components. So we drop in 24 volts. Zero volts. We're going to need a detent switch, so we can drop that in. We're going to need our solenoid valves, our solenoid controls, should I say, so we can drop in one, Y1 or Y2. And then we're going to need our magnetic reed switches. So come down here to proximity switches, and under proximity switches, we can see magnetic switch. OK, so we can drop one of those in, drop another one in. Then we're going to connect those up. And we make sure we label everything. So now when we go ahead and press play, we should see that when we press the detent switch, it stays in an oscillating motion like this. So it will keep going back and forth as soon as it hits uh, the switches. So it's going back and forth as fast as it can. It extends until it has S3. Then S3 sends a signal or allows the signal to go down through uh, the magnetic read switch to hit Y2, which sends it back in the opposite direction all the way back until the the piston rod is um, noticed by the other magnetic reed switch, uh, and then it'll send it a signal down to Y1 to tell it to extend again, and it's happening very, very fast here. We could also add in one-way flow control valves, obviously, here to control that, to slow it down. 